It's February, which means Valentine's Day is soon approaching. If you're like me and have absolutely nowhere to go, then you're going to need some video games to play with your sweetheart. If you have a Nintendo Switch or are buying something for your girlfriend's husband, you're in luck. I will be focusing on good games with local cop rather than competitive play, although I will mention a couple. There are also a plethora of various indie games with co-op modes that I don't have, so be sure to check the eShop listings if nothing here appeals to you. Can't afford to go on a trip together? Well, there's Go Vacation. You can go on a relaxing holiday at the beach, city, mountain or snow resorts, with a variety of activities such as scuba diving, volleyball, snowball fights and kayak races. You can also create a replica of your fur baby to take with you. You can find my review of the game on this channel. Dating a Gen 1 -er? Look no further than Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu being the right answer here. As it's a remake of Pokemon Yellow for the Game Boy, the third version of the original monster catching RPG. One of the newer features is drop in and drop out co-op. So your gaming challenge boyfriend can tag along with you and cheese an already easy game by turning most battles into a 2 on 1. If you're into that. I grew up on 3D Mario before the new Super Mario Bros series started so 2D Mario has never really appealed to me. If that's not the case for you, the new Super Mario Bros U Deluxe has recently come out on the Nintendo Switch. It has two new characters, one of which has a special transformation that allows her to float, and Nabbit who can't take damage. So as long as one of you knows what you're doing, it should be okay. Kirby Star Allies is an adorable game and one that you could beat in a long Valentine's Day session. It's also quite easy and requires cooperation to complete small puzzles. The characters can also share food to heal each other via a kiss, so I hope they aren't the jealous type. I have a written review available on ladiesgamers.com. Overcooked and Overcooked 2 are also on the Switch. I recommend 2, as buying the DLC characters means you can be a platypus. Also, because in the sequel playing with two players is the ideal way to go about it, not counting the DLC levels. As I've mentioned in my review, which you can find on this channel, Three players leaves one person on an uneven side, and four makes the star requirements much higher and overall more hectic. Perhaps one of you is a little more health conscious than to be spending a whole day on chocolates and treats. Fitness Boxing has two player modes where you can play free training in various ways. You can compete your scores, do a combo chain with each other, or fight by completing punches and dodges correctly. The Warriors series have always been games I'd play with another person mostly because it makes map management much easier. The Switch has a variety of options such as Hyrule Warriors, Fire Emblem Warriors, Warriors of Ritchie 4, Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends, and One Piece Pirate Warriors 3. Of the two I've played, I would suggest Hyrule Warriors over Fire Emblem due to the characters actually having a varied moveset and a slightly better frame rate. Of course, if they want a piece of some of that DLC Niles or Tharja, then I can't blame them. Same goes for the other games if they're into the Warriors games in general, Lu Bu or One Piece, then go for that respective game. Snip Eclipse was originally a launch title for the Nintendo Switch but now has a physical edition that came with the arrival of some DLC. It is a cooperative puzzle game where you snip each other into shapes to solve puzzles such as getting a ball over a ledge or filling in a shape. Sometimes it's possible to get past a level with a non-standard solution which is nice. With the DLC there is also a couple of competitive modes. Taiko no Tatsujin Drum and Fun will depend on each other's music tastes, so make sure to check the track listing. It's a rhythm game with options for button, motion or expensive peripheral controls. You can compete against your scores or combine your scores. There are also a few different mini games. I have an impressions video on this channel. Trevor Strikes Again is also a good two player action game. I may or may not get around to reviewing it at some point. The game can almost be entirely played in co-op minus a couple sections. Playing in co-op does make it a lot easier, although there are a couple difficulties and the option to not level yourselves up. Depending on how much you can game at once, you could complete the game on the day. Is there anything more romantic than killing beasts from hell? I didn't think so. Unfortunately, Doom 2016 does not have co-op play, so you'll have to make do with Diablo 3. If you're lucky, you might take a quick trip to Whimsydale and be able to paint the town red. If one or both of you remember when retro games were new, then perhaps the SNK collection might be for you. It features a variety of games, most of which have co-op play. You can find my written review on ladiesgamers.com. There are also many other older games available on the eShop by Hamster or other publishers. A couple of indie games I will mention are Runbow and Tied Together. Runbow's adventure mode and the behemoth can be played in co-op, although it will occasionally be a detriment. Tied Together requires an additional player and is a bit of nice fun. I've reviewed both of these games on this channel. 
Lastly, there are many games with local co-op that are competitive, but since it's Valentine's Day, we won't focus on that too much. The best ones of these would be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. In Smash Bros. you can play doubles together, and you could use Selma's help to beat the Grand Prix in Mario Kart, not that you can trust them when they say they won't cross the line. There's also a bunch of fighting games, Mario Tennis, Mario Party, Monopoly, Just Dance, and so on. Other games require two Switches to play local co-op, such as Splatoon 2, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, and Bayonetta 2. That's it for my list, so hopefully you found something that at least one of you can tolerate. If you're a third wheeler, you can bring Rocket League as a standard format is usually 3v3. Single? Well, unfortunately, Dead or Alive Extreme 3 Scarlet doesn't come out until the end of March. So I suggest Galgram 2, Bayonetta, Shinobi Reflections, or a bunch of dating sims you can find on the eShop. Just don't play Necropara or I'll call the police and RSPCA. Have a happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you next time. Bye!